hello everybody welcome to this video training uh, today I'm going to show you how you can uh, set up telnet and SSH on a Cisco router uh, you should know that uh, Cisco devices are most of the time remotely administered so uh, you will need uh, telnet or SSH in order to uh, manage your Cisco uh, devices so first of all we're gonna go and uh, I'm gonna go and uh, show you how you can set up uh, telnet first uh, like you see up here on this presentation I put up here three steps in order to have your telnet connection uh, to enable your telnet connection on the, on the Cisco router uh, uh, right now, uh, let's go to uh, uh, Cisco Packet Tracer and I'm going to show you step by step how you can enable telnet connection on your Cisco router. Uh, I have Cisco Packet Tracer up here. I'm going to grab a 2811 uh, router. I'm going to grab a switch up here. 2950. Okay, I'm going to grab up here a, a PC. Okay, let me connect those devices. I'm gonna grab a straight to cable. Connected to the switch. Up here. Connected. Connect that to the router. So uh, we're gonna. Our main focus is gonna be the router. So we're gonna try to configure the router. First of all, let's go to the CLI up here. I'm gonna press now. I'm gonna go enable. Uh, config T to go to the global configuration and uh, I'm gonna first change the host name host name I'm gonna do my router okay and right now uh, I change the host name so the next step is gonna be to uh, uh, do a password enable secret password because we need that to uh, secure our router enable secret enable secret I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do Cisco Cisco and I'm gonna do uh, enable secret Cisco and I'm gonna go and configure this interface let me show you this interface up here right now FA 0 slash 0 I'm gonna do I'm gonna give him an IP address I'm gonna give this interface an IP address is going to be interface interface fa 0 slash 0 okay i'm going to do ip address 192.168.1.1 and the 7 mask is going to be 255 that 255 that 255 uh, let me uh, make it a little bit bigger and I'm gonna do a no shutdown no shutdown okay and now the interface is up so now we're gonna go to the present go back to the presentation so now what we need to do is uh, uh, I already do the configuration for the privilege mode uh, the password for the privilege mode I do that so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the line because this line VTY is gonna be uh, it's gonna be the line that gonna help us enable telnet on the router so uh, let's go back to the to the to packet tracer I'm gonna exit from here I'm gonna do a line line VTY I'm gonna take uh, only five lines 0 to 4 I'm gonna do a uh, line VTY 0 to 4 I'm gonna do a uh, uh, login so I give you go back to the to the presentation you see I told you configure login on the VTY because this login uh, command we need that in order to get uh, to access our router from from telnet so let me go back uh, up here I'm gonna do login but you see what here what is is giving us a warning it is say logging is this disable on line 3 this is the the line for the VTY until a password is set so that means uh, the login command and the password uh, go hand hand and hand so 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 you need to 
uh, after the login you need to configure the password some people do the password after the login so the reason why i do the login before the password i want to show you this uh, this warning up here so you can understand uh, that you cannot configure only the login you have to configure the login and the password on the line video because this password is is going to be the one that gonna help us get to the get to the router from the user exec mode so i'm gonna do password password uh, i'm gonna do cisco uh, cisco uh, cisco one two three okay that's the password and now everything is fine so now we should ha now be able to connect to the router from uh, our pc so let's go okay now i'm gonna go to the pc up here i'm gonna do the configuration for the pc i'm gonna give a uh, pc uh, the pc uh, an ip address the ip address is gonna be 192 that 168 i'm gonna give one that one that uh, 100 and the 7 mask is going to be a 20 bit 7 mask and the default gateway i give 192.168.1.1 and uh, that's it so now let's try to uh, access the router from the pc up here so i'm going to go to the command prompt the one you need what you need to do is to uh, uh, use the telnet command telnet followed by the uh, ip address of the router or the host name but this case we only we, only, we are using ip address so i'm going to do 192.168.1.1 okay and you see it's asking us the password that means our configuration is correct so i'm going to do oh, the password is cisco123 that's the password we supply uh during the configuration for the line with why don't forget that and you see and now i'm on the user exec mode so if in order to go to the enable to get to the privilege mode i'm going to use the passcode cisco you remember that password cisco123 that's the enable secret and now uh, i made a mistake cisco123 no cisco okay that's the password <laughs> the other one is cisco123 so you see now i'm on the enable uh, on, a, on the privilege mode so everything is working so now i i, I hope you guys understand how uh, to set up telnet setting up telnet is very easy yeah. but the problem with, tel with telnet is uh, the lack of security so i mean there is no security with telnet because all the packets sent uh, during the telnet connection are sent clearly so that, that mean if the hacker is uh, between the communication it can grab those com uh, those packets and, and see what's inside so that's the reason why uh, I, i'm gonna advise you not to use telnet in a prod in in a production so you can use telnet maybe in a testing environment but if you are in a product production network don't use telnet let's go back to the presentation i'm gonna now show you how you can do ssh how you can set ssh because ssh uh, i'm gonna recommend uh, everybody now is using ssh because ssh is the one that can be security so uh, all the packet are sent during an ssh uh, connection are encrypted so that's the reason why uh, i'm gonna advise you to use all the time ssh especially in a production environment so first of all what we're gonna do what, we, what we're gonna need to do is to define a username and a password from the global config mode so let's go back to uh, to cisco packet tracer i'm gonna do username username i'm gonna do john and i'm gonna do password that's how you need to do that command password i'm gonna do uh, uh cisco uh, cisco uh, i'm gonna do cisco i'm gonna do cisco pass no so that's the that's the first step you need to do now the next step is to define a domain name this domain name is going to be used in order to generate the key for the encryption because uh, we go, we're going to need some key in order to encrypt the the the, the, the data you know so uh, and uh, you're gonna the command you need to do in in order to do that is you it's going to be the on the global config mode you need ip domain name ip domain name and uh, i'm going to do my domain for simplicity but you're going to have to provide a domain uh, that you're going to be using uh, in your company you know but for the simplicity up here i'm going to do my domain.com
script so that's going to be the name of our domain so the next step is to use the this command up here the crypto key command uh, generate RS key this crypto key this crypto key is going to help us generate the key for the encryption so uh, I'm going to go back to packet tracer I'm going to do crypto to key generate and RSA and you press enter and this is going to uh, give you a, a choice like uh, you can choose like 512 uh, uh, for the encryption my, but my advice I'm gonna ask you to take 1024 for for the encryption usually a lot of people take that uh, uh, encryption uh, type so now the the key are generated like if you see you see up here and now the next step is to uh, to do the SSH ver version so b there is two version version 1 and version 2 but I'm gonna advise you to take version 2 because uh, version 2 is more secure than uh, version 1 IP SSH version 2 and now you good to go so uh, the, the final step you need to to take is the to configure the line VTY to accept SSH so let's go uh, right now to packet uh, to the router I'm gonna do uh, uh, I'm gonna do line VTY line vty i'm gonna take the five lines zero to four and i'm gonna do uh, logging this command is very important logging logging and uh, we're not gonna leave this logging alone um, we're gonna add this keyword local so this means uh, we, we're asking the router to use the username that we provide and now that's it so that's all that's all you need in order to uh, have your SSH connection so now we're gonna test the connection in order to to start the connection this is the command you need so uh, you're gonna start uh, on the PC SSH and you're gonna use this parameter this uh, this uh, option minus L so and to specify the user name you, you're gonna have to use this one is optional this is to specify the port number and the last one is to specify the IP address of the router or the IP address or the host name of the router that you want to do SSH on. So uh, let's go back to uh, to the router up here, to the to packet tracer. So we're gonna fire the PC and we're gonna go back to the command prompt. So we're gonna log out from here, log out. And now to do to do SSH, we're gonna do SSH, SSH, and minus l and the ip address is going to be 192.168.1.1 ssh no i forgot the username you see <laughs> you have to be careful the username is john john 192.168.1.1 and you see now the uh, the the, uh, the session is working Cisco pass maybe I made a mistake and you see now the connection is working so uh, 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 that's the uh, all uh, you need in order to have your uh, SSH connection on, on your on your Cisco router so I hope you guys under, uh, learned something from this video I would like to thank you for watching.